this is Herb's program today, but uh, he asked me to help him introduce it, so I'm going to do that. But our speaker today will be Allison Timbrook. Uh, some of you may know her. She graduated from Hicksville in 2008. Um, the daughter of Jean and Gary Timbrook, good friends of mine also. And uh, she went to college at Huntington and uh, got a degree in recreational management there. Currently, she's uh, taking class at Finley College to get her master's degree in occupational therapy. Uh, what she is going to share with us today, she's involved with Youth for Christ now, helping with that, and uh, she's going to share with us about that. So, uh, Allison? A little short when I'm doing like this. <laughs> there, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Turk. Um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, just share with you a little bit of my involvement um, that I've had with Youth for Christ. Um, so I've been on staff for about a year. Um, sorry, I am soft-spoken. I can tell you just turned that up. Um, so I've been on staff for about a year, about a month shy. I started last February. Um, so I am working part-time. Um, I, like he said, like Turk said, I am also going back to school for my master's. Um, if you don't know what occupational therapy is, that's okay. 90% of people don't know what that is. So if you're curious, you can ask me later. Um, but um, as far as my involvement with Youth for Christ, um, I've been, actually I've really been enjoying getting to know the youth in our community, um, especially since I grew up here. Um, it's, it's neat to get back into the school and uh, just get to know students um, and be involved in that way. Um, so what I do right now in uh, Youth for Christ is there's a couple different things, um, events um, that we uh, put on, um, especially during the school year. So. Um, there's things like club, small groups, um, there are uh, other types of involvement that I do um, within the school. I'll go to sporting events uh, that I know students are involved in, um, other types of events like their band and choir concerts or anything that's going on in the school. Um, but to explain what a uh, club is, club is an event uh, that will have every Monday night uh, right now, I just uh, hold it at the Mennonite Church. They have a fairly big facility, so they have a youth room, they have a gym, um, also a basement, so when it doesn't work out to have um, games and things in the gym, I can do it in the basement. Um, so what that is, is we'll have kids come and we'll have games for the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes. It helps them kind of just unwind, get, you know, those wiggles out and um, kind of calm them down a little bit, and then we'll have a lesson time. And that lesson time can be um, a variety of topics. Um, a lot of them cover things that they deal with now in their culture. Um, and um, surprisingly, but not surprisingly, it's a lot of things that you know I didn't have to deal with as a student. So it's exciting, but also I see the importance of being able to uh, just talk through these types of topics with kids. Um, then after we have the lesson time, we'll break off into some small groups at club and um, we'll just discuss in further with more pointed questions to talk about the lesson. And that gives them a chance to uh, comment or um, maybe just ask the questions that they want to ask about uh, that topic. Um, some of them are just more general topics and then others are um, based on more scripture and um, possibly Bible stories. Um, but the purpose of those lessons are to full circle point back to Christ and the importance of a relationship with Christ and how that can impact their life and the situations that may be going on in their lives. Um, small groups, um, are you know basically what that title is uh, it's a smaller group of students they um, are typically only three students to maybe a max of six we try and keep that fairly small so that um, kids can feel comfortable to uh, interact and be themselves because club that's a mixture of boys and girls um, and I did forget to mention um, these are just middle school students um, I'm not really uh, jumping crossing the line of getting into high school right now. Right now we're just focusing on middle school age students. Um, so the small groups uh, will meet in really anywhere. It could be at the church, it could be at McDonald's. Um, we just wanna really create a, a laid back environment for them to feel comfortable to talk. Um, and 
there are times we'll use curriculum that YFC creates, um, which are very useful and, and helpful. Um, but other times uh, we'll use uh, books as uh, sources. And um, I try and be um, picky about those books just because I know they have, they have their own schoolwork and things like that. But at the same time, we want it to be good information as well. Um, so f as an example, um, I have a small group of girls there in um, eighth grade and um, we're going through a book it talks about just loving in a broken world and um, what love really is and what it looks like and where it really comes from so it talks about how you can best love others and your friends and family um, but where love really originally comes from is from Christ and understanding that to then help them shape how they treat others and love others um, and what that view of love really is. Um, we also have a boys small group as well. Um, sometimes they fluctuate when they meet just based on their school schedules because I'm sure plenty of you have kids and you know that their schedules are very busy with school and sports and other type of activities that they're involved in. So um, I try and just be flexible and not add to that stress but at the same time. I know it's good for them to just be able to kind of break away and be able to just sit and talk. Um, so. I mentioned earlier that we um, we try and be involved um, in anything that they're participating in uh, because the goal and the purpose of what Youth for Christ does is we've shifted into doing relational ministry, um, relational evangelism. Instead of just telling them something, we want to walk alongside them. Um, we want to not just befriend them, but develop a relationship with them and build that trust. and. Let them know there's another person in your life that cares about what's going on. If you're having a hard time, if it's something that may seem um, small to, you know, it could be something more severe, we want to be that listening ear that they feel comfortable to, to talk to. Um, and that, um, you know, goes into other things that we do. Uh, we call them building times and appointments. So building times are just really laid back. We'll just go and basically, you know, hang out with them in their environment so we can continue to build into their um, a relationship with them so that could be just going to mcdonald's and getting food and talking um you know boys sometimes they like to go shoot hoops it's kind of whatever sometimes it's a little limited but especially in the winter time but um we just try and get involved in what they're involved in um, appointments are if you know if we've noticed maybe something's going on um, whether they've shared it in at club or in small group, we want to set aside that time and talk to them about it, not just leave it and just think, oh, well, I'm sure they'll talk to someone or it's probably not a big deal. Um, no, we care about what's going on. Um, and so we want to take that time and address that with them. And if, you know, if parents need to be, um, you know, contacted about what's going on, you know, that's the next step that we do. And we tell students if something serious is going on, we're going to have to tell your parents or we're going to have to report it. Um, but um, we're, we're very passionate about being in relational ministry and walking alongside them and then pointing them to Christ um, when that's appropriate. Um, so the students that we work with, um, it's not just really one group of students. Um, it's not just students that maybe already come from a church background or um, maybe come from a good or decent home. We have a full spectrum. We look at the kids that um, you know do come in and maybe know Christ and maybe don't, um, but still come from good families to those kids that come from rough families um, because they all need Christ. You know, We all need Christ and um, being able to be um, that person that they feel comfortable um, to talk to and learn about who Christ is and us our goal is to be that representation and not just force it on them but talk to them and build that relationship um, so talking about some of the um, struggles that students go with um, you can see it on the slide but it's it's very small so I'll just kind of um, I'll just kind of glimpse over it, but um, unfortunately, suicide is on the rise. Um, in Ohio, um, the leading cause of death uh, uh, is because of suicide of students ages 10 to 14, and that's in Ohio. That was taken uh, in 2018, so two years ago. 
Um, so 10 to 14, that's the students that we work with. Um, so that's you know very scary. Um, so we want to use our position to be um, someone that kind of interjects and intervenes in those type of situations and can be that listening ear and possibly you know, connect them to those services that they may need, whether that's counseling and talking to the parents and things like that. Um, so uh, you can see at the, the bar graph, it's gradually increasing. And those are numbers that were taken from 2007 uh, to 2018. So you can see that gradual rise. Um, and our hope would be to help intervene in that. Um, now, if you look at the state of Ohio, um, that's broken down by uh, county. Um, so I know it's hard, to, you can't see where our, ours is, I'm sure you have an idea, but um, we are the, we have the second highest rate of um, suicide deaths in Ohio. Um, so from, and that's based off of from 2014 to 2018. Um, so for what, that's based on an age adjusted rate, um, and I'll explain what that means in just a moment, but what that's looking at is that um, for every 100,000 residents, let's say in Defiance County, um, our county says that there are 15 to 18 students who committed suicide um, based on that age-adjusted rate. And that's just saying age-adjusted is just for students, student ages that we're looking at, um, so middle school to high school. Um, so we, we want to be that person that steps in and um, yeah, can be that, that voice of listening to students and pointing them in the direction um, or into the services that they need. Um, another, some other issues that students are dealing with more and more that are growing um, is listed up there. You can see the list, um, but I do want to talk about the top one, which is anxiety and depression. Um, you know, I think anxiety and depression is a pretty, to a degree, a normal thing. We hear about it more often, um, but unfortunately, we're hearing more and more where students are expressing that they are feeling this way or they're expressing those symptoms, and um, people are noticing that within students. Um, so, you know, I will speak to, there have been some students I have talked to here at Hicksville, and have expressed um, those um, feelings and uh, those symptoms. So, um, like I said, we wanna be someone who can step in and mentor and be that listening ear and that encouragement to them. Um, so, um, I wanna switch gears to um, what YFC is doing nationally. Um, these numbers were taken from 2018 to 2019. Um, so uh, there's only a couple numbers I uh, want to focus on. So um, looking at the number, the 92,963, um, students were in a conversation with a leader. So that's nationally looking across um, the uh, nation, across the country. Um, they're then looking at um, students who were lost, um, but then were in an authentic sharing Christ relationship, a Christ sharing relationship with a leader. Um, that was 54,023 um, students. Um, And then um, if you look at the number 15,836, that's the number of students who came to Christ. So when you look at that number, that's, that's quite a big number. Um, so that's a really, that's an awesome testament to what we're doing. Um, now if you uh, look at this slide, this is just uh, looking down at, zoning down to what we do as um, our county, um, so Defiance County. So looking at those same type of things, um, you got 793 students who um, in our county are engaged in a positive relationship uh, with a YFC leader. Um, then there are 396 students in an authentic Christ-sharing relationship with a leader. 
And then there are 94 students who became believers in uh, Christ through our YFC ministry. And that's done through our shift in doing relational evangelism. YFC camp. Um, has anyone heard of our YFC camp before? No? Yes? Okay. Yeah, um, I didn't go as a student. Um, I know that um, it's uh, a really fun event. I went actually for the first time last year. Um, it was um, definitely a new experience. It's a lot of fun, but it's also very exhausting. And it's not only fun and exhausting for us, but it's fun and exhausting for the kids. Um, they go to uh, Camp Machendo, um, and a lot of kids have gone to sixth grade camp there. So they get excited learning about, um, learning that they get to go there. Um, so to give you just an idea of what YFC camp is, is um, kids get to experience things that they didn't get to experience when they went for YFC, or for sixth grade camp. So um, they get to do the waterfront, they get to do the water slide, the blob, if you don't know what the blob is, it's a pretty fun um, activity where it's just this huge inflatable where one kid slides to the end and then another kid jumps on and then they get flown in the air and into the water. Um, kids love that. They love their leaders doing that. Um, but uh, YFC camp, um, it just it gets them in a new environment. Um, it gets them out of their normal schedule, out of their normal hustle and bustle. They get unplugged, so no technology. And it just really helps us to um, just focus on developing more of our relationship with them. We'll have sessions where there are specific topics. Um, sometimes it's a theme, sometimes it's topics. Um, it just depends. Um, but it um, creates that environment where even after um, going through the sessions, we then are more able to um, set them aside and talk to them about you know what their response was or what they took away from each of those sessions. And um, to give you an idea of what um, those sessions are like, this past summer um, we had uh, three different leaders share their testimony, and they were actually three different, quite different uh, testimonies. Uh, one was kind of more severe where you know they lost a family member and they went into drugs and alcohol. Another one was um, you know they just didn't they had um, they were struggling with their own identity and making good choices. And then the third was more of um, like self-harm and um, self-identity and, and self-hate. And then they shared how Christ worked in their life and um, really brought them through that. And no, after they became a Christian Everything didn't just, you know, snap of their fingers, become okay. They learned to work through their situations. Um, but it really showed students that Christ can help them work through what's going on in their life. Um, and uh, for this coming summer, we're going to be taking 168 students. And Mike, wouldn't you say that that number has been growing, right? Okay. We, we, take, we charter buses out of Fort Wayne. Um, through excursions, and uh, with 73 charter buses this year for the chapter. That's 168 leaders and students combined. Yeah, yeah. With being on first year, I didn't know uh, what our numbers were last year, but I had heard that they were growing, so that's exciting. We've added new sites to uh, of where we're doing campus life, so um, it's exciting to us to be able to take kids more to uh, camp because, um, like I said, it's just a different environment, and sometimes that just takes that different setting uh, for a kid, for it to really click with a kid of why having a relationship with Christ is important. So um, that's all I have um, to share with you today. Um, I guess I'll give us, you know, five minutes if you have any questions for me about um, our ministry. Who's the umbrella organization? Are you under Fort Wayne Area Youth for Christ or Defiance County? Or what's that look like? We're under Defiance County. We're are defined area youth for Christ, which yeah. is the neighboring six county areas, okay. and uh, Northern Indiana is their own chapter. So there's multiple chapters throughout the United States, mm -hmm. and uh, our national office is in Colorado. So we're all under the umbrella of 
YFC USA. One thing I <coughs> should have said something earlier, um, Mike Z, I come to help Allison here. Many of you in here would know Larry Z. Dyke, and Mike is a grandson of Larry Z. Dyke. So for those of you who don't know who Mike is, that's who he is, and first for you through Christ also. How long have you been working with you for Christ? Six years. Six years? Yeah. Yeah. Well, about how many students do you think you're on average working with here in Hicks program? Well, it depends. Um, club, I typically have around um, eight students, probably, sometimes ten. Um, but because of sports and schooling, um, those aren't the same students that maybe come to small group. So um, I would say I'm probably close between 15 and 20 students right now. So, yeah. Are most of the schools around here uh, have an impact on your presence? How do you outreach? Yeah, um, it's, you know, a mixture of that. Um, I do have some school access, so um, I get to know kids through that. Um, just making my presence uh, known, like, at events and things like that, trying to get involved within the community, um, but also trying to meet with local churches as well. Um, you know, we don't want to compete with churches. We just want to work alongside with them. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of our networking that we do um, to uh, continue to just connect with kids. And create a just my goal is really just to create um, a good environment for students to um, come to a safe environment um, and just a good community where kids can fellowship and learn and grow together in a positive way.